How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to answer a viewer post and I'm going to talk a little bit about the two-stroke oil that you use in your snowmobile. So, no, not that one. Okay, so Joe Nolt from North Bay wants to know how, what I think of the Shell oil that I use. Good question, Joe. So I really like the Shell oil that I use. Um, the main reason that I use it in the sled is because the previous owner used it. So there are a few types of oils available on the market for your two-stroke snowmobile. There are petroleum-based products. There's a caster-based product, and that's refined from a caster beam. There are synthetic oils, and a synthetic is a manufactured product. That's actually my preference. It's a little more expensive. We'll talk more uh, later about why I prefer synthetic oils. Um, the one piece of advice is to go with whatever your manufacturer recommends for your snowmobile. So your manufacturer may actually recommend a mineral oil. It's a little bit cheaper uh, than a synthetic oil, so cost is one of the factors that goes into to deciding which oil you use. So talking about uh, two-stroke oil is a little bit like talking about religion sometimes if you've ever talked to a snowmobile owner about it, uh, and they have some pretty strong opinions about it. Now synthetic oils are manufactured uh, with specific properties in mind. So they're manufactured for a two-stroke snowmobile. So you're talking about things like, you know, how well they lubricate, how well they stick to the part. Synthetic oils tend to mix really well with gas. They burn better and they leave less residue behind. The petroleum-based two-stroke oils are, they're a lot dirtier, they have a lot more particulate in them. They're, they're cheaper and they're something that I would use in a, a lawn tractor or a snowblower. I wouldn't put them in a snowmobile. Castor oil it has better lubricating properties, so it'll stick to engine parts and it'll lubricate better, but it does leave behind a lot more residue when it burns, right? So a varnish, a lot of gunk on the engine parts. Now I run the Shell Advanced Synthetic Oil, and I mentioned before, um, the main reason I run that is because the previous owner ran it in this sled. So that's something I want to talk about. A lot of guys will tell you, uh, and this is some advice I had early on, is whenever you're running in the snowmobile, don't change it. And you'll get this advice from a lot of people, and it makes sense if you think about it this way. Now, if you're out and you run out of oil, and the only thing available is a different brand than you're using, it probably won't hurt. I wouldn't be too quick to mis mix like a castor oil or a castor-based two-stroke oil with a synthetic oil. And here's my thinking on this. If you're mixing two pro products together that have different properties, right? They're different viscosities, different densities, different additives, things like that. They may not mix well. Now, if you mix one synthetic with another and you do it once, it's probably not going to make that big a deal. But if you're doing it all the time, like it's really important you don't just sort of grab whatever oil you see and dump it in your sled. Because I do think that that's, that's possible, that they're going to be different properties to those oils and they may not flow effectively. But again, once in a while, I don't think it really hurts. Now, I am thinking of switching to the, uh, the XPS oil that's actually recommended by my manufacturer. And my thinking with that is I'm going to run the rest of the oil that I have the shell oil that I have out and then I'll take whatever little bit is left in the reservoir and then dump the uh, the skidoo oil in. I think that's probably overkill. You probably don't even really need to do that but you know better safe than sorry. The main reason I've stuck with stuck with this one uh, other than the fact that the owner the previous owner ran it uh, is like I said it's cheaper. Now actually the price this year is getting a lot closer so this one is $59. Um, when I looked it up online at my local Canadian Tire that's a uh, like a tool and auto parts retailer in Canada if you're from the US. This one when I look it up online is 54 so the price difference is actually um, not as big as it was last year. So I guess it's a commodity right like oil and it, it kind of flux weights. So this one's 54.99 but the only the one thing to remember with this is that this package is 3.785 liters and this one is 5 liters so you're actually getting more so you know this one actually is still more expensive. That said, you know, you hear a lot of guys do, talking about this, and they're both synthetic oils, they're both brand names, um, so they're pro probably both a decent oil. Bombardier manufactures this specifically for this product, and I have to think that they know the engines better, they know, uh, you know, specifically what they require, what the engine tolerances are, what's the best oil. So, is it a huge difference? I don't know, like I said, I'm not an engineer, but I feel more comfortable uh, running an oil that the manufacturer recommends, right? So again, and these are just my opinions. I feel more comfortable with this one. The other thing is now I've ridden for a little while. I know that I'm probably going to buy two or three of these over the course of the season. I guess it, it kind of depends on how much you ride really as well, that price difference, how much it matters to you. 
But, you know, I know that I'm dumping a couple of these in through the course of the winter. It's not, uh, I don't have to worry too much about that slight price difference. And I've got a product that the manufacturer is recommending. The other thing that I think is not a bad idea to keep in mind when you're choosing the oil that you use is availability, right? So if you're going to go, and you know, this is the same as true, guys, if you're a Polaris owner or an Articat, your manufacturers will have oils that they specifically recommend as well. I'm just talking about this one because I, I have known a skidoo. Um, but this oil, I have to go to a snowmobile dealer to buy, right? Or I could, I guess I could order it online too. Whereas the Shell Ultra, that was my other thinking with uh, deciding to continue using that one, is it's available everywhere. But again, that kind of comes down to how much do I ride, how much oil am I actually buying in the season. So I think if I've got a couple of these on hand, I'm, I'm okay. But, you know, for you, wherever you're located, wherever your nearest snowmobile dealer is, you know, you might want to take that availability into account as well. So, you know, just to kind of summarize, I think strongly that you should buy a synthetic oil over a caster base or a... Uh, petroleum based product I think you should buy a brand name that is available to you where you ride and you know if you don't mind spending that little bit extra I think that it's always a good idea uh, to buy the maintenance products that your manufacturer recommends all right so you know I know this video didn't give you a definitive answer on which oil to go out and buy I don't know that anybody can do that but uh, the one thing I hope it did do is make you think about it a little bit because it really is important to put a good quality oil in your snowmobile so that's all I have to say about two-stroke oil. So if you're a new snowmobile owner and you're trying to make up your mind about which oil to buy, I hope that video helps you out a little bit. Joe, thanks very much for posting the comment. Um, you know, anytime you guys have questions or you want me to do a, a video on something, by all means, post in the, the comments below. So until next time, I'm Dave Clark, and thanks for watching.